All new this morning as we mark National Wellness Month, one Rockford man says he took a risk sharing his story on social media. He says being honest and vulnerable really paid off. I was tired all the time. The thoughts started consuming me. 24 year old Raymond Hurlbutt says he had struggled with depression for the last several years. I think for a lot of people, what happens, you know, when we get upset or depressed or sad is that we start focusing on all the negative things and it becomes extremely difficult to get out of that state of mind. Doctors diagnosed Raymond with major depressive disorder. He was medically discharged after a short time in the Army. That's when I knew that I had a, I had a real problem. I think it's important to note that sadness and feeling down are pretty typical for many of us, right? The problem becomes when that sadness doesn't go away. Withdrawing from activities, staying at home a lot more. Um, their sleep is often impacted, either insomnia or they'll be up for extended periods of time. Um, you'll notice a change often in appetite. So there can be a significant weight loss or gain in a relatively short period of time. That was the turning point where I said I have to do something about this. I started seeing my life go downhill over and over again. I couldn't hold a job. I uh, was struggling, you know, to get along with authority, you know, bosses. If you're really struggling and you can say, you know, I've really been feeling this down, worthless feeling for at least two weeks, in addition to some of those other changes like appetite, sleep, um, concentration also can be significantly impacted when we're depressed. I would say it's time to reach out. Raymond says therapy turned things around. You can't really cure the mind. What it is is a thought pattern. My thought pattern has changed and I'm responsible for that. Earlier this year, he started a power washing company turning to his community for help online. I knew for my sake and for the sake of my family to provide and protect, I had to be honest with the world and put myself out there and be willing to take that risk. It paid off in a follow-up post thanking his customers. Raymond says he's booked and busy. Raymond says that post has helped him gain new clients. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health or having thoughts of suicide, there's help available any day or night. Just call 988.